Hi, I'm Sherry from Homeschooling on a Wing and a Prayer blog. I thought I would share with you Exploring Creation with Biology. This is from Apologia. And this particular set of books is for high school. Now you may only have elementary students right now, but you might want to you know, hang around and see what's going to be coming around the bend. I do want to point out, you can do high school. You can do it. If you could do the elementary, trust me, you can do high school. For us, I do not have my kids do the heavier texts like biology until they are in 10th or 11th grade. Sometimes that was because I had another student coming up and I just wanted to go through the process once, so I waited until the younger child was a little bit older and then I just grouped the two. For my third child, she was on her own and we had her do it in 11th grade. And now for my son, who is 10th, 11th grade this coming fall, I'll have him do this. I like to wait for a couple reasons. One, this is a very, very meaty text. And you really don't want to have to spend an observant amount of time trying to re-explain or get the concepts through. So by waiting, at least for my kids, I found that they understood it better, were able to handle the assignments better, and definitely tested much better. So that's just something you might want to think about. Just because it says it should be done in ninth or 10th or whatever grade, you know, go by your student. Some kids are ready for chemistry by 10th grade. Others aren't ready for it until they're like 30. Some of us never. I'm just saying. Okay, I have used Apologia's general science, physical science, the biology, and the chemistry with one of my kids. I find that Apologia is very teachable. You do not have to have a PhD in science to teach it. It's pretty self-explanatory. Each module, which is equating to about a chapter or a unit, really explains it well enough. And if there's any problems, you can refer to an explanation in the CD. You can check your tests and solutions manual. And I am sure there's plenty of things out on the web that you can use to help further a point if the kid is stumbling. Now that said, I'm going to explain also, when I first did this, I had the first edition for the first two kids. There was no notebooking or anything. You had to print the on your own study sheets, the tests, and they had to keep everything in a notebook. Now they have this fancy little student notebook available, and I did break down and get this one for my final student. I don't believe it was available for my third at the time. I am geeked about this, but I will explain this in a separate video because I want to show you this option and on your own notebooking and a very, very plain notebooking. This is definitely the most expensive version. So uh, click down below in the description box for that link. We're going to put that aside. Let's talk about what you get. When you normally want to look for this, you want to look for the set, which will give you the student text, your solutions, test manual, and a test booklet. You will need a test booklet for each child. And let's actually start with that. I'll get into the text last. So this is just a printed, paper printed, perforated test. Actually, for my kids, I just um, had them look at it. They would take the tests a little bit different time. That way I didn't have to purchase two. They're not very expensive, though. But one of the problems that you will see with this is, like here, it says give definitions for your terms. There is not a whole lot of space to be giving any definitions, and some of these you just simply can't. So my children always wrote the answers on a separate sheet of paper because there just simply wasn't room to write the answers. Now, if you have a child who can write minusculely, then, yeah, sure, go for it. So there you are, that's the test booklet, nothing fancy, black and white, whatever. So you'll definitely need that, especially for high school, you should be starting to do grades, and that is about the only level I will do grades, so that you can translate that into a transcript and create something nice for college or technical school or whatever. You will also need the solutions and test key. The solutions are the answers to the questions the children answer throughout each module. A module is a unit in their series. And of course, this has the tests that you can uh, get the answers for as well. There's not much to it, just black and white, nothing fancy, just gives you the answers. All right, here is the big boy of this little set, and that is the student text. Right now, I believe this is the most up-to-date, the second edition. 
Obviously, it's very colorful. It's a very nice hardbound text. I am going to say when it comes to upper level sciences and math, it can be kind of boring. It's not the fun, fun, fun that it was when they were younger. If you want to keep it dry, you can add in some things and really make it a little more fun. And I will get into that when I'm talking about the notebooking. So what do you get with this big text? Well, first and foremost, I want you to go over to Rainbow Resource. Click on the I, uh, link, I'll put it down below, for the textbook information. It'll give you a little review, but you can also download not only the table of contents, but you can download the lab needs, and I'm going to actually print that and put that in my um, teacher's book. And you can look at the first module, the whole entire module, which is awesome. So you can really, really get a good look and see if this is a kind of a science program that will fit your student. Some kids simply just do not do well with apologia. It might be too dry for them, might be too wordy for them, might be too beefy. I don't know. So far, for all my different learners, it's been okay. We did not do every chapter, and sometimes we would do a very quick run through the chapter and then call it a day. So, as you can see, they have need help page. Then they go on about student notes. You'll notice this little icon here and there, and they're referring to the CD that you can know. This is the first version. I did not purchase the second because we didn't use it very often. I will say that, um, you know, it's not very expensive, but again, I didn't really use it. What you get in here is the uh, little extra clips. You get some vocab, pronunciations, and animations. So this can be used to help them with their studies. Again, we didn't really use it too much, so I didn't purchase the update one. I figured it's got to be close enough. All right, so they give you more information. They talk about experiments. They talk about where you can get these things. I do actually have a sunlight microscope, and I can do a separate video if you'd like to see that. There's different places to get dissection kits. I don't believe they're 36 bucks anymore. I think they're a lot more than that. And then it will give you your table of contents, which, like I said, you can download so you can see what they cover. Now here's module one. One of the things with Apologia is it's very, very beefy. So if you have a child who gets lost in words, like my son tends to, this could be a challenge. So you're going to want to come up with a schedule. There's different places that sell schedules for this. Now in the notebook that they provide, the um, one you can purchase, they do have a schedule you can follow. I think My Father's World actually has a purch purchasable schedule for, that relates to this book. You can look around. Um, I think Donna Young has one. I think now you do have to belong to her website in order to download that. But look around. Or you can come up with something for yourself. So it'll go on and it'll break down some things. Obviously you'll see there will be some darker words that are obviously pointing out things they need to remember. They are going to have to learn how to take notes. They're going to have to learn how to take key words and follow that along. There will be vocabulary. Like I said, this is starting to get a little bit beefy. You don't have them read the whole module in one day. That's impossible. Well, it's not impossible, but it, they won't remember anything. The new version has much more color um, and prints and figures that are more explanatory. You can still get the first version out there used, but I highly recommend just the latest one just simply because I like the layout better and I found that it was much more user friendly. Like every so often, let me go back to this, you will see something that's called on your own. So after they've done a reading for a while, he's going to ask a question here and then they will need to answer this. They'll have to do it in their notebook, whichever version you choose to use. So as they're working their way through, again, download this from Rainbow Resource so you can really get a good idea of what's going on. They may start having some, not all of them, but some of them will start getting into stop and do an experiment type of thing. So you go through here, and now they're using keys. The kids have to kind of classify. That's fine. We're starting at the basics, and we're working into dissections and things like that, which we'll get to later. Now, this is, like I said, it's a beefy chapter. It goes all the way to here. At the end, you will see oops, a study guide. Now again, depending on how you choose to do your notebooking, they're either just going to write all this out on a piece of paper in a notebook, or they're going to do it in the notebook you purchase. So that will help them, and then they use this information to study for their test. 
Okay, pretty straightforward. Again, in high school, you know, it's going to be textbooky unless you choose to do unit studies, and I'm not saying that you can't because you can. It's just going to require a lot more work of you or finding a program that will work for you. I like to have at least one good textbook series for my kids so that they are familiar with how it's going to go in college. So if you've attended college, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, well, you need to be able to read the textbook because that's what they're going to use and glean the information and be able to study for it and take the test and pass so you don't waste your money, right? So eventually you can get your degree. All right, so overall, I do find Apologia's sciences to be, again, very teachable. You, like I said, you don't have to have a PhD in science. It's very self-explanatory. There's ways to get help. The student should be able to do most of it on their own. In biology, you will have a lab. In fact, all of their sciences have labs. So you're not only getting a science credit, you're also getting a lab credit. And most colleges like to see at least one lab credit on their transcript. And this one lends itself to it perfectly. Okay, so that's my take on it. We have enjoyed it right from the start. My kids have learned. Have they retained everything? No, but it should come as familiar to them when they come across some of these things. You can get this at a variety of different places. Usually Rainbow Resource is one of the cheaper ones, but you know, look for sales and stuff like that. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Again, click the links in the description box. I hope this has been helpful to you. And uh, look again for the notebooking video. And until next time, folks, take care.